The Labour Party was in effect operating a hierarchy of racism or discrimination. There's a damning sentence, isn't there? Yet there it is in the Ford report. The context of this was in the handling of anti-Semitism complaints, prioritised over other forms of racism, and played a part in the interfactional conflict going on. In other words, it was being weaponised as well as spoken about widely. It was the only form of racism that ever seemed to matter where it came to clubbing Corbyn in the media, and so it went behind the scenes at Labour HQ as well. We've seen this exposed in the WhatsApp messages in the Labour Leaks report. Much of the evidence gathered from ordinary members as part of Ford's call for evidence, echoing negative experiences relating to racism and sexism and complaints of other forms of racism made to the party being ignored. Labour crow about changes they've made since Corbyn left, but they've essentially handed over anti-Semitism training to the JLM, the Jewish Labour movement, who you need neither be Jewish nor even a Labour member to join, is right, widely regarded as a right-wing factional body, and the Squawk Box has highlighted their secretary actually campaigned against Corbyn Labour government. Ford has categorically found their training to be inadequate. The wording in the report implies a system of talking at people, little participation or encouraging of reflection, and should be improved. It smacks of indoctrination, frankly, and actually that thinking is easily encouraged when you consider for all the talk of Jewish communities, plural, the JLM ran the show. They left out, for example, as Ford has acknowledged, Jewish Voice for Labour from the training process, despite them being a wholly Jewish, wholly Labour member-led affiliate body, and implies the training was factional and politicised as JVL are left-wing and pro-Palestinian. Little wonder the JLM, as well as other right-wing associates, such as the Board of Deputies or We Believe in Israel's director, Luke Akers, also on Labour's NEC and a wannabe Labour MP, have kicked off over that. Nonetheless, these findings have been welcomed by exposing that not all forms of racism are treated equally in the Labour Party. Not then and not now. Islamophobia certainly hasn't, as the Labour Muslim Network have spoken out on, declaring the Labour Party to be institutionally Islamophobic and in denial in response to Ford. Given the current Labour leadership have declared Ford to have exonerated them, though, it seems unlikely, unless we keep pointing out exactly where it says otherwise, that they'll do anything about it.